Believe it or not. Whose business? Well, I interviewed Derek Griffin when I was in Paris, and he said the two of you served time together in San Sebastian prison. That's true. Well, he speaks very highly of you. He considers you a friend. Well, that's really nice to hear. I haven't seen him, though, since we got out. I mean, uh, old times in prison aren't exactly the kind of things you want to get together and reminisce about, you know? But he did seem to find some way to enjoy himself. How? Is this off the record, or is this for uh, public consumption? Well, I mean, as you know, I'm doing this piece, and I thought it might be a good idea to get several points of view, you You're know? Good, you know? I mean, I almost buy it. What do you mean? Oh, that the first thing you do after you get off that plane is rush right over here for the sole purpose of getting a good sound bite. I mean, that is... Uh, that's something. So you don't believe that's why I'm here? No, I don't believe that. I think you're here because you just spent a week away from me and because you missed me, but mainly because you couldn't wait to find out just how much I missed you. Don't lie to me and tell me you're here in the line of duty. Do you really want to hurt me this much? You're the one who's hurting both of us. And if you can't bring yourself to be with me for real, please just stay away, okay? And don't come here and play games with me. You know, this wasn't a game. I thought you might want to help me. I mean, I thought you would. If you've decided that we can't even be friends, well, then oh, I... You want to be friends now? Is that it? Do you think it's a little too soon, Goliath? Maybe it's just too late. 